So the next step, uh, after we've learned everything we can from the plate and we've taken some pictures of the inclusion, is to uh, get the inclusion out of the plate. Now what we do is we cleave the plate very carefully, trying to break it directly over where the inclusion is and bring the inclusion out as a whole piece. So the way this works is, um, here's, here's, here's the bottom of the cracker and I have two lines here and what we take is we take these little pieces of tungsten carbide, a very hard material, much harder than the steel. These are little flat tungsten carbide lathe bits from the machine shop um, that, that aren't very expensive because they're made en masse, but they are little thin wafers of tungsten carbide. We put them in like this and we orient them so that there's a gap, a parallel gap, that we line up with the score marks on the outside of the, of the cylinder here. And we try to put the inclusion directly over the gap between the two plates. And the idea is that we can cleave it right where the inclusion is. The diamond will break, the inclusion will fall out, and nothing will get hurt. This is facilitated uh, by um, using on the top a little tungsten carbide rod that's also used in the shop a pin basically and we orient the long axis of that pin parallel to the score marks and I have a little score mark here that shows that orientation so we can line everything up because once you start to put the cap down um, it's it's not easy to see. Now there's a little bit of a trick here you don't want to have um, there be too much distance here so you crush the diamond so what we do is uh, this is built with loose threads loosey goosey threads so that you can see how it wiggles and so what we do is we put this down in position and, and you can see how it's riding on the diamond and holding the plate up. And so what we do is we hold it steady so we don't move the diamond and we turn this down so we take up almost all the slack but leave a little bit of, of, of play. And then we hit it with a, a, a small hammer. It's enough to crack the diamond but, the plate, but it only moves slightly and doesn't crush the inclusion. So once, once the diamond has been cracked, which I'm not going to do now, but what you'll see is a bunch of diamond fragments. And um, on the metal surface, they tend to have an extremely high index of refraction. And so they actually look really shiny like the sulfide inclusion. So you spend a lot of time looking in there for the sulfide, which it looks very metallic as well. And you can usually find it, but it may take you half an hour, an hour just to find it with all the diamond fragments.